it's not going to work. Your customers are not going to follow you. Your followers are going to quit following you. Your family is going to quit following <laughs> You're gonna your, lose, your dude. Gonna you're gonna straight stop you're, like and this. walk away. And they're like, "That's it, Dad. I'm over you. You're not. Like you I'm not buying your brand, Dad. Dad, Dad you I'm are out. horrible. <laughs> you're embarrassing to the family. Uh, oh, it's over, man. So. But no, I, I completely. But you have to I'm, feel I'm, that way. Understand. You have to feel that to the point, like where, man, if I don't. Now I'm not saying suicidal. Like I don't want you to be like it's so tough that it makes you want to like give up on life. No, because guess what. You have to try in order to fail. So who cares if you failed? Try. Because I'm going to tell you something. More than 50% of people I know don't even try. If they would try in their life, they would all be so much more successful than they currently are. They come up with one excuse after another. I see it all the time. Oh, maybe next year. Or I'm still waiting on this. Or I, I, I just, no. Do it now or you'll never do it. Bottom line. You got to take that step forward. First step to branding yourself, first step to living the life that you want to have, man. And fail. Fail as much as you can. Because the more you fail, the more opportunity of non-failure happens. More opportunity for success. Because that's called law of averages. You fail three, four times in a row, eventually you're going to hit a couple of big winners, right? Same thing with ups. Same thing with credit pulls. Same thing with anything else. It doesn't, as long as you keep moving and you keep going forward, you're going to go, you're going to get it, so... Build your brand. Be consistent. So making sure that you all out there know in theme what it is that we are really trying to encourage you to do. It's be prepared for all of the pains that come along with birthing a brand. Uh, There's something magical about the childbirth process, and it's so easy for us guys to say that. And I'll sit here going, and we have zero idea what the birthing pains are like. Um, But we can only imagine how painful it is to bring something so glorious to life at the same time of going through some crazy excruciating pain. It's, uh, It's kind of a tale of life, how things work. You know, some of the best lessons we learn are inside of our pain. You know, the strongest parts of our body, if I broke a bone, that part is going to be the strongest part of my my body or at least that part of my bone in that break place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it creates strength. It creates character. Yes. Um, it does. Character. It's a good word. So uh, be excited. Birthing a brand is uh, is. Something that does not come always easy, but it is exciting. It is worth it. It is so worth nursing. It is so worth uh, being excited about. And I know a lot of you are doing that. So you're trying to birth your brain. You're trying to find out who it is that you are, and you're letting the world know. High five to you. Give yourself a fist bump, a pat on the back. Keep your arms up as you have forgiven, focused, and flew to where it is that you are now. Great job. Thumbs up. Keep rocking. You're drinking Car Guy coffee if you're trying to birth a brand and you ain't giving up. We appreciate you. Go you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go team. So, so. <laughs> jinx. But yes, I mean, we, you know, that, that's that's the key. You know, we're, this episode we're bringing to you guys is about birthing your brand. And, you know, comments, Car Guy Cafe. Go check us out on, on, the, um, on the Facebook you need to get in there if you're if you're in this car business if you're anywhere related to it where you're interested in it um you know ask to join um give us reasons why you want to join if you're not in the car business i'm looking for mostly car business people in there but obviously if you're interested i don't mind having you come in seeing what the car world's like um but keep in mind that you know that it is all about cars so let's not go in there and ask about real estate but, right. but you know, when you're on there, I, I entice you guys or encourage you guys, please come there. Give us, if you have questions about how to birth your brand, how to make your brand bigger, put that out there. Put a post on there really quick, and you'd be quick to see how many people respond to that. It's really neat. Um, and I think that it's going to just keep growing that way. Um, if you have a tip, if you see someone who posts something, go on there and, and give them an answer. Sh- show them what's up. That's, that's part of building your brand is getting people to know who you are because your brand is nothing if no one knows about it. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's part of it. It's it's using social media to get your brand out there. Um, you have to be okay with people knowing who you are, it, and you know if you're not okay with that, you really probably shouldn't be in sales, honestly. 
But if you, so I would suggest that everyone who's listening, get on board with this. Don't be worried about what people think you're going to have. Like I always tell my salespeople, you're going to hear no way more than you ever hear. Yes. And that's okay. That's fine. So be used to no's. Be, actually embrace the no's, what I used to always say. But you have to um, remember, same thing with social media, is that you're going to you're gonna probably fall on your face, make the wrong video, make the wrong type of whatever, and you're going to be like, man, I'm not getting what I'm hoping from this. And that's okay. You're learning from that. Hey, I watched this video. Ask people, what do you think I should do? Should I do? And they'll probably give you a quick tip, maybe not as – most people to your face won't tell you – the worst thing in the world. It's at least going to help you a little bit, right? So use those tips. It make your videos better. Make your brand better by doing that. Um, each time you do it, try it better. And you'd be surprised. People will probably like what you're doing in the first place after a while. They'll be like, you know what? At least he's consistent. He's not complacent like, you know, like some other people are. So you're trying. And I respect people who just keep trying. When I see somebody more often than I see others, I tend to, even though the videos aren't something I want to watch, I tend to start going, what is that? Let me just see what he's about. So sometimes That's something so about that volume. So, so looking at what other people are doing that is successful around you. That's key. Very key. It's it's uh, key that you are being able to um, open up doors to opportunity that sometimes works out, sometimes it doesn't. But when birthing your own brand, you're taking a little bit from everyone because you're not – there's nothing new under the sun. So you are just redoing – and reposting and resharing uh, the goodness that we all spread around inside of this earth. Mm. And uh, Bruce Lee said, absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. And that is car, guy, coffee, if I ever heard anything in my life, because that is literally... What we're trying to do here is brew solutions. Mm -hmm. Eat the chicken, spit out the bones. If some of this applies to you, great. If some of it doesn't, great. The way that I do business at my desk every day is completely different than the majority of the way that you do it. And you know what? We're still doing the same thing. We're still helping people with their issues and solving problems one way or another. Yeah. We are going to do it our own way. And it is right. specifically my own brand to doing what it is that I do. Your brew is your brew, yeah. and we brew together, Boom. and we brew solutions, and we're all better because of it. Mm. Man. He's so right. He's so right. Is this still the intro? Are we still introing this? We're just, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's sort of the <laughs> intro. You know, we're just talking about it. We're getting ready to go to the fresh news, and I know that we're, we're running long, but, you know, with these episodes just being you and I, we have a lot of extra time, and I think that one thing, I did get a tip from uh, Mr. Patrick Jennings is, Throw another shout out to him. He's going to love that. Um, and you know you are, Patrick. So when you're smiling right now, I know you are. Um, but, you know, he talked about Patrick. he talked about episode number uh, seven. He mentioned that to me, and he said that he loved the episode. He's, he's definitely one that listens to it all the way through. I know that. He loved the episode. He just wished that we would have elongated the conversation about military compared to, like, the processes and why it helped us manage, become have growth in the car business or whatever. We talked about it for a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then we quit talking about it. He goes, man, I was getting excited about that. And then it just stopped. I was mm -hmm. like, hmm, that's pretty cool. I said, I'll be honest, we did that all in one take. We didn't have time to go back. So, you know, we should add on this and that. Right, right, and so right. we had one night with Devin and we knocked it out. And it, I thought it was smooth enough and we were pretty happy about it because we had a great time hanging out with Lou Sun. And, uh, you know, honorary car guy Devin T was on the show. That's and that was right. fun. And I loved it. Lucky number seven. I mean, how much better could that be? Um, but... You know, so he did mention that. So I think we have time, and I know I just talked like about two minutes about no. time on the show, but time, 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 time. time. And, but you know, speaking of like you know doing like outside the box stuff, you know, you got to get uncomfortable. You know, I talk about that a lot in a lot of my videos. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable, and I talk about that when my guys post stuff. Thank you for getting uncomfortable. Stay uncomfortable because it's not comfortable. It's not. You know, getting yourself out. You're putting yourself out there, but that's kind of the exciting part about it too. I mean, you know, with all the growth that Lou and I have done over the last, you know, gosh, almost half a year now. I mean, it's it's three, four months, maybe five months now. We've been five months probably. We've been working almost half a year. We've been we started the idea of Car Guy Coffee, and it's become episode nine. So it's and it's not even close to being the end. It's we we're just beginning this stuff, and and it's it was really initially uncomfortable for both of us. You know, we're like, 
are we doing, we're doing this. But when we committed, it was like we committed. And I, and I had this, I, I talk about massive action. We took massive action, you know, getting, putting it out there, letting, putting a date out there, putting that out there saying it's happening on one twenty twenty twenty, making shirts, literally making shirts with our logo and the date on the front, passing them out to people. I mean, how much we had to do it by one twenty twenty twenty. So, when you're out there and you're building a brand, it's very easy to start something and then quit really easy because you're not getting instant results. I mean, we could have quit a long time ago. You know, what? Who do we owe this to besides ourselves? You know, but that's it. That's all I need. I need to owe this to myself. But it goes deeper than that, and just like it does for Lou, you know, we're building this brand because we, we're, you know, I want to leave a legacy. I don't want to leave this planet thinking. I didn't do everything I could to be the best Fred to help this planet become a better planet. Just, you know, remember when you're a kid and you're writing down, what do you want to do when you, before you die? One of the things I wrote was like, I want to leave this planet better than I left it. Mm, that's for sure. Or then I started it, excuse me. Then I leave this planet better than when I came on this planet, I should say. Mm -hmm. And I hope that I can do that. I honestly don't believe I was, I've done that up to this point. But I do believe that I am on that path to doing that. I think I'm going to be able to help a lot more people, which is something that is a huge goal of mine and a huge motivational force in my life is I want to help people. I really believe that's when I'm the happiest. So helping others. I believe, I mean, just to be clear, if there was no more Fred as of tomorrow morning, you've left a great deposit huh. on this planet. I'm sure and we are all better, and the legacy right. is definitely left behind. But let's continue right. building no, that legacy, right. and you're going to. No matter, I mean, you're you're already on the uptick of that. So no, I agree. Uh, and don't I, discount yourself I, there, buddy. I, no, I don't. And I, but I do. But I do believe that I haven't done to my fullest potential. So I. So think today, let's pour out some more. I am tonight. Let's pour out some more. Right. Let's right. let's continue to brew because you're an awesome. You're an awesome guy, Fred, I'm, and I'm very sure. thankful. You guys don't understand. I'll talk forever about how grateful I am for Fred's encouragement, for Fred's uh, high five, but Fred's uh, friendship inside of our lives and how it's helped me to get sitting where I'm sitting right now uh, to uh, making sure that, that I have an open door to success everywhere that I go. Us being connected together, uh, I mean, we have so many stories that you can get acquainted mm. with over time no doubt uh, but we are definitely uh two that want to leave a good legacy uh for our children are very proud of our children being you know better than us and we want to mm. continue to try to inspire them so even if it's making a tiktok video and getting a couple rolling eyes well <laughs> we're cool dads <laughs> <laughs> yep we are you know and i'm very proud fathers also so and that, so that's it works both ways and we are who we are um if you if you're not branding yourself you can be sure others do it for you yeah and there you go what it is wow. that we are trying to make sure that we do is be clear that there is solutions out there for everybody and we don't have to be haters, you know. Um, Steve Jobs says your time is limited. Said your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Word up. He's right. He totally believed that. You could tell, you know. And and that's he totally made his own path. And yeah, and, and that's you know. I I'm not saying I want to be him. I'm not saying I, I don't want to be him. I'm just no. saying I want to be the best me. You know. Right. And, and that's literally what he says. Stop living, don't live someone else's life. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, we don't want to do that. I, but I, you know, and I know that my best me has unlimited potential. I don't even know what my best me is, you know, because I honestly never lived my best me. I've been very borderline. I remember bo going to basic training and I was wanting to, I had the same mentality at the time, you know, very like just getting ready to become a man. I moved away from my house. I was like, I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to be a better version than I was when I lived at home. So I got super hanging my clothes perfectly. I mean, I not I did have basic training, but I wanted to keep continuing to. I folded my underwear. Who folds their underwear? I folded it in perfect six by six squares, T-shirts, six by six squares. I put it in there. I put it by color order. Socks were even getting folded. What was I doing? Yeah, that's totally but, different when you come home to a wife and yeah. you're just like, look, this is what I do with my underwear. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So, 
Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I try to become the best one. I even started trying to save money at the time. I was doing this. I was working out. I was eating right. I was writing a journal. I mean, I was doing this crazy stuff when I was a kid, young.